Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up a song in Ableton. Um, so, I have these multi tracks over here to the side. First thing I'm going to do is open up Ableton Live. Um, this is it's going to open up in session view. So, I like to go to arrangement view and you can hit tab. Um, something else you need to know right off the bat is the tempo. Um, this right here has it for me. So, 83. I'm going to go up here and change change it to 83. Hit enter. Um, from there, I'm going to go to the very top. And then hold down shift and then click the last stem. It's the first and the last stem. From there, I drag them all over. And I try to get it all the way to the beginning. All the way to one. And then from there, I'm going to hold command. And that's going to make them all uh, uh, line out at separate tracks. So now I can go ahead and go to full screen. This is just preference, but I like to get them all to where I can see them. So I'll hit shift. And then right here, this little arrow, I just scroll up or move my mouse up. And it's going to make them go smaller. Um I like to be able to see the waveforms when I'm first doing it, because you can go even smaller than that. Um, from here, I like to move my, find the click. So the clicks right here in the guide, I'll put those together. And then I'm going to go all the way down the bottom, double click. Um, and this is, and then I'm, now I'm going to hit warp. And this, this is going to line everything out on the grid. All right, and then from here, I'm going to start um, uh, putting in markers. So I'll go up here to create MIDI track. I'll rename this right here, markers. I'm going to drag from the end of it all the way to the beginning across here. And then hit Shift, Command, M. That's going to create this MIDI track. Um, and so this, this allows it to where you can, when you, when you're setting up, a, um, multiple songs in a set, um, your, your, your markers will come with, with the, um, stems whenever you transfer them over. Cause if you just do it like this, you add, add locators and write them in, it, it, it'll, um, they won't carry over. So I always do it like this first. Um, and I'm not going to show everything, but basically I just start right there at the beginning. Two. You can hear Three, four. intro right there. And so I'll just click it, hit Command E, and then Command R to re rename it. That'll be intro. And then you right click on this, uh, on the three line right above it, add locator. And now when you hit this and hit uh, space, you're going to start on that uh, section. And I would basically just go through each little guide waveform and add in each locator all the way to the end of the song and uh, from there I also like to for my church our system the way I do it is one and one so these right here are going to be only going into the uh, in ears and then I'll go shift and then select all the tracks and then I'm going to change these all to uh, two. The last thing I like to do is change this to one and two master because now if I wanted to have an extra click you know to make it a little bit louder um, I can use this metronome up here one, two. by doing this down here this master one and two, I routed the metronome click in Ableton into my inners. And so you can have like a, if you're having trouble hearing it live, you can kind of click that and it's like a, like a safety click to have ready. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.